Ibo Area TV on on the Ibo. Well, we are still in Anambra. Professor Chuku Masoludo rejects His Excellency. The title is Excellency. He prefers to be addressed as either Mr. Governor or Charlie Wambuafo as his official title. Charlie Wambuafo. So, Ludo, the Governor of Elect of Anambra State, Prophet, um, has rejected the title of um, usually known for governors and you know presidency. His Excellency. Hmm, and has opted to be addressed as Professor Charles Soludo. Uh, the governor-elect, however, directed that those who find it inappropriate to call him by his name can uh, feel free to address him as Mr. Governor. Oh, he's still there. By saying Mr. Governor, he's still there. Uh, the former Central Bank governor, who was uh, speaking during the inauguration of the Transition Committee, and said some of uh, such title mistakes were things that would be addressed during the meeting of the Transition Committee. Speaking during the inauguration, Soludo said, I was called His Excellency a while ago, but may I plead that the Excellency tag waits for now. Okay, waits for now. And that is part of what we will discuss in this committee. He said, you may just need to learn how to call me by my name, but if that isn't good for you, then may I request that you simply call me Charlie Mwambafo. <laughs> Charles Mwambafo, Charlie Mwambafo. If that one is so difficult for you that you must be formal in addressing me, then you can address me as Mr. Governor. So do the third guest. Charlie, Charlie, Wamba. <laughs> uh, well, whether you want to be addressed as His Excellency or not, or whether your wife would be the First Lady or not, what Anambra people wants from you is to deliver like you promised. We want to see that your boast in action, Soludo. You told us you are the man who the job fits like a tailored suit. It matches you properly and that is it. Anambra people came out to vote for you. We don't expect you to be that every other governor or politicians we have seen. We expect you to outperform former governors of the state. In fact, Anambra overwhelmingly voted for you, Soludo, and there is no doubt about it. Even people from other Igbo speaking states are looking forward to see you get set the space, the pace uh, for coming governors after you to follow. If Anambra is greatly improved by your governor, Soludo, it will certainly be copied into other Igbo speaking states. So, Zoludo, we are more interested in what you will do. We already know what you are and that you are capable. But it remains for you not to disappoint us. Meanwhile, Zoludo says for now, and he, he just said for now, perhaps he will still accept the excellency tag. He said for now that he is just a governor and like perhaps he would answer his excellency when he assumes office. We are driving to Lagos, 2023. Tinubu will disappoint Samuolu. Hmm. This is according to uh, the leader of Nri Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Oyedele. On Friday, last Friday, he prophesied that tough times await Governor Babajide Samuolu of Lagos in 2023. You know what Tinubu is capable of. Prime Minister Ayodele disclosed that the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Tinubu, will disappoint Samuolu in 2023. It is expected. In a statement signed by his media head, Osho or Oluwatosin, Prime Minister Ayodele noted that he foresees rancor, trouble, disagreement between both of them ahead of elections in 2023. The man of God explained that the governorship ticket for Lagos State will be the main reason for the trouble and there will be more problems for the APC national leader if he disappoints the current Lagos governor. Again, Asiwaju Bola Tinubu will disappoint Governor Samuelu in 2023. You know Asiwaju 
controls what happens in Lagos. There will be trouble between them because of the next, someone will lose next ticket. Who will take the next ticket? The governor's ship rates will be the major cause of their problem in 2023. Meanwhile, Tinubu will create more problems for himself too by disappointing the Lagos governor. Primate Ayodele prophesied that Governor Samuelu's second term ambition is not yet certain because there are some forces fighting against it. Yes, remember we told you here the other um, time in one of our video, a recent video, that how Tinubu is planning to make his son the next governor of Lagos State. As it is now, Tinubu can't wait any longer. If it is even possible, Samuelu will be met to leave this first tenure. But just that, it will be a hard to forward the son. So, they will have to wait and allow Samuelu to complete his tenure. Tinubu has to do this due to his age and weakness. He may find it hard if he delays. After Samuelu's first time or never, Tinubu had the greatest opportunity to do that now. Got weakness before you know it. Um, let me tell you when somebody dies, his setup begins to crumble. And you know what recently happened? He managed, managed to survive, he's still living, so he had to fit his son on time. So that is where we see a problem with someone who's second term, it there's a problem with it. That is why um, Bode George complained recently. He said, Tinubu's wife will return to the Senate as usual. Tinubu's daughter is um, a, a, a lodger of Lagos, controlling all markets, receiving almost 5 million naira daily from every market in Lagos. Then, Tinubu becomes president. So, the, the family is running Nigeria. Tinubu is running the central. Then, his son running Lagos, a major part of Nigeria. That contribute more. His wife sent it. His daughter running the markets. You know how much they collect. A Aloja. A Aloja supposed to be identified with tomato market, but they collect millions from all this market, including including computer village in Lagos. So that is it. They want the family wants to con. con in fact, I'm 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 sorry for a Nigeria. You know, um, uh, under this, you know. So that is why some will may have problems. Anyway, thanks for watching us. Please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more of our updates. I am Azuka OJ. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Ibo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.